Hey, church family, happy August the 17th. Please make sure and read through the newsletter today. There are several things that we need you to be aware of. The first is that on September the 18th, we are hosting a congregational meeting. We're going to do three things in this meeting. The first is that we have been training new deacons. They've gone through a year-long training process. They've taken a written exam, and they've been interviewed by an elder. And we are pleased to present to you new deacon candidates and to ask you to vote on them. Now, between now and then, we're going to publish who they are with their pictures and bios so that you can know them. But spot them in the church and what you'll find, all of them are currently actively serving to support our church. So they're great candidates. Secondly, we're going to change some of the wording in our bylaws, and we need the congregation to vote on that. And then finally, we're going to hear a financial update and all very exciting things. So please read through the newsletter, especially that announcement. In addition, we continue to search for a children's ministry director, a full-time children's ministry director. If you are interested or you know someone locally who's interested, would you please reach out to me? I'll send you the job description. You can read through it or send it to your friend. Help us network in our local community to find someone who's willing to minister in our church in this role. Now, our small group ministries are all about to start up. If you're new to the church, we have life groups, journey groups, and Bible studies. And I want you to read that announcement. There's also a link that's in the newsletter that if you click it, you can fill out and tell us that you're looking for a life group or you'd like to be in a journey group, and we will help connect you with local leaders. But make sure and sign up so that you can experience gospel community here at East Cub Prez. And then finally, we want to continue to pray for the Gassemi family, especially for Ellie, as she receives cancer treatment. Now, she's responding beautifully, and that's a mercy from the Lord. But we want to ask the congregation to set aside time at 6.10 in the morning and 6.10 at night to remember to pray for Ellie. Put it in your calendar. Set your phone. Now, this comes from a member in the church whose loved one has been going through cancer treatments for some time now. And a verse from Scripture ministered to her, and that reference was used as the time to set the alarm in the morning and at night to remember to pray for this loved one. And we're going to do the same thing. And the verse is Ephesians 6.10. Finally, brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And so at 6.10 in the morning and 6.10 at night, we're going to ask you to set your alarms to remember to pray for Ellie and for the Gassemi family. You could read that announcement in the newsletter. Church family, thank you for all that you're doing to minister here on campus and here in our community, and especially your work in East Cobb. Let's continue to serve our victorious risen Savior and share the goodness and the grace of God with the people around us. God bless you. Have a great week. I look forward to seeing you Sunday.